Want to know how much it costs Lauren to ice skate? Let me show you. All right, so you want to know how much I pay for Lauren skating. Now I know this is not your job, but I made a PowerPoint presentation, so don't make fun of me. It's the best I could do. I'm not very good at video editing yet. All right. So the cost breakdown for practices only. This is not including like special classes like spins or jumps or yoga for that matter. Um, so at Lauren's Ice Rink, we have the option to purchase punch cards instead of paying the drop-in rate of $11 every time. So we buy a 20 punch punch card that, and each punch is 30 minute sessions. So for that punch card, we pay $165. Um, and we do one hour of ice time every day. So that's about $16.50 per day. If we were to do the drop-in rate, it's $22. So we are saving quite a bit actually over time. Lauren also gets 30 minute private lessons. Each of her coaches uh, charge $40 per session. Um, so per day, I'm spending $56.50 for one day of ice skating practice, uh, which makes it $226 a week and $904 for a four-week month. I didn't even know I was spending that much until I did this, so I am surprised at myself. Anyway, for your low to mid-level skaters, this is kind of the cost breakdown of other stuff. Of course, skates is in this. Uh, Lauren uses the brand Adea, um, and throughout this presentation, I'll be using Adea brand skates for examples. Um, she uses the Adea Overture, that boot is for single jumps, um, beginning skating usually. They still work for her, but I think the next time we get skates, it'll be one step up from that, which I think is chorus. I'm not totally sure right off the top of my head. But for these boots, they were $365. And you, yes, you do have to buy blades separately. Uh, we use the John Wilson Coronation Ace blades, and these ran $350. So for her newest pair of skates we spent $715 before tax. For custom competition dresses this year, uh, we did spend a little more than we did last year on them, but we added more beading and details and that kind of changes the price a little bit. Uh, this year we spent $500 for each of her dresses and we got two of them, so we spent $1,000. Um, I have a great lady that does custom dresses. If you're interested, comment below and I will send over the link. Um, the competition fees for Compete USA, which is the lower level skaters, the basic skills, um, Aspire 1, 2, 3, and 4, which used to be Free Skate 1, 2, 3, and 4, but they changed the names on us. <laughs> I'm still learning those. Um, can vary between about $150 for two programs. So the first program is usually like $80 and the second program is $40. Uh, depends on the competition and who the skating club the hosting skating club is because they set the fees usually. Usually, don't quote me on that. Um, now for accessories such as guards, uh, gloves, practice wear, all the stuff that goes with ice skating, um, you're looking at about $100 to $250 annually. Uh, that's also if you don't buy the expensive practice wear, if you're just you know going to Target and getting leggings or, or whatever. Um, there's the club membership fee, of course. Every club has one of these. Um, the basic skills ones is a little bit cheaper. They're about $35 to $50. And, but when you get to the higher levels, beginning uh, usually with pre-preliminary, um, it can get up to $150 to maybe $200, depending on the club also. Now for your higher level skaters, this is where things can get very expensive. Um, the skates, again, using Adea, just because that's what I'm familiar with. Um, the Adea Ice Fly and Piano boots, which are for your triple jumps, quads, um, all that, uh, can run anywhere from $885 to $995. Uh, the most expensive pair of blades that I could find using Google, I don't even remember the brand, I just was looking for the ones that were most expensive, uh, were just under, seven, just under $800. They were like $785. So if you were to buy the most expensive blades and the most expensive boots from Adea, uh, you're looking at about $1,800 per pair of skates. Now at these levels, often skaters have more than one pair. 
They maybe will even have a different genre of skating boot, like for synchro or pairs or dance. Um, a lot of little things in between can add up. Like I think the dance blades are a little shorter than freestyle blades. Uh, don't quote me on that. I don't have a dancer, but I think that's correct. Your custom competition dresses are a little bit more expensive as well, naturally, because you're going to have like rhinestones galore, lace, like all this intricate custom designed dress, um, usually from an actual designer. I've seen them as low as $1,000, but they can go up to about $2,500 per dress, and every one of them need at least two. Sometimes they can get up to about four years of these dresses in wear, um, but that usually doesn't happen because they either like rip it or they just don't like it anymore, so they want a new one, and, and that happens, and it's it's normal. Uh, but just ex- expect to pay this amount if you're if you're an elite level skater. Now the competition fees for IJS or the 6.0 system um, is kind of like the uh, learn to skate ones. These ones are a little bit more expensive. So your first program will be like 110 or 20. And then everyone after that is going to be like 65 to 80. So about 250 for two programs. You will travel as an elite skater Often it's last minute because you have to qualify for the competitions most of the time. Um, so having a savings account is good. Uh, you can, it just depends on the destination and how much you're spending. It could be a local away comp, which is cheaper than if you were to fly from like Seattle to Florida or something. Uh, but what most parents don't know be- when they sign their kids up for skating in the very early years um, is the coaches travel. So when you're at this level and you travel for competitions, you have to pay your coach's way. So you're paying their airfare, their hotel, sometimes gas, sometimes food. Um, If your coach is bringing more than one skater, it's equally divided between all the skaters that are going to this competition. Um, But if you're the only one, you're paying all of it. Um, A lot of times coaches will make exceptions, like maybe they won't make you pay them for gas or their food or anything, but they you do have to usually pay for their airfare or a portion of it. Um, Depends on the coach, depends on the club. That's something that you'll need to talk with your coach about. So the moral of the story is skating is expensive. Be prepared, be ready. Um, Lauren loves it. So I'm, I'm budgeting way ahead of time to make sure that I can afford all these travel trips Uh, for competitions when she gets to the higher levels she's still in a lower level so I'm I'm still learning but I was also a skater myself so I'm somewhat aware of what goes on behind the scenes more than maybe somebody that doesn't that doesn't have any skating experience so that's that's the end of my presentation thank you for coming to my my meeting um thank you for watching and I'll look forward to talking to you soon thanks